Hi, my name is Chris Mendoza. I was part of the team that helped open our first brick and mortar in 2013. Now I help run Cafe Side Quality Assurance, Brewing Technology, and Coffee Education. Today we're going to talk about coffee freshness, specifically how storage can help you have the best experience for coffee day after day after day. But before we can get into that, let's real quick touch on what is taste versus flavor. Now taste is comprised of five things, sweet, sour, salty, umami, and bitter. Flavor is taste layered with aroma and texture. What adds aroma to the coffee flavor experience are the organic volatile compounds that are produced during the roasting process. These compounds also diminish as coffee moves further away from its roast state. Therefore, to preserve flavor, we want to preserve aroma, and that's where coffee storage comes into play. Next, let's talk about optimal windows for enjoying coffee. Have you ever had coffee that was roasted the same day and brewed it? Do you remember what it tasted like? That's because coffee can be too fresh. When coffee is roasted, it becomes soluble and more flavorful, but also there's a buildup of these volatile organic compounds that contribute to flavor and a gas buildup. You want to give your coffee some time to degas to have the best flavor experience. In particular, we found our coffees taste best from 5 to 15 days off roast. But if you store it well, you can stretch that window out. So here are three ways to store coffee. Now first, we've got this four pack of coffee here. The first way is super simple. You're just gonna take these bags and you have the valve on the back, fold it over, you can use tape or you can use a rubber band and stick it in a cool, dark place. We chose these bags because Number one, they're resealable, and number two, they have that one-way valve, which will allow your coffee to degas, but won't let air back in. So take this and stick this in a cool, dark place. Second is you can store it in an airtight container. Now you can use a mason jar, you can use something with like a built-in vacuum pump, but we have these nifty vessels from Mir. I swear I've done this before. Cool. So just transfer this. These have a nifty pump, so you can actually just drop this in. You are going to tilt that, and it creates a seal. Very nifty. And again, store it in a cool, dark place. Third, you can vacuum seal and freeze your coffee. Now, from my time in the industry, I've had the pleasure of making friends in different places in the industry, or also had guests that have been kind enough to grab me coffee on their travels. And I've wanted to take their present and really make it keep. So what I'll do is I will take coffee, throw it in a sealable vac seal bag, throw it in the freezer. Now, I know some people are a fan of just taking a whole retail bag and putting it in the freezer. I haven't played with it because this has given me really great results. I've had coffees that have tasted vibrant and tasty six months out. I've had coffees a whole year off roast that still taste delicious and fun. Thanks for following along. I hope these methods were helpful to you, especially as we're trying to reduce frequency of travel right now in this season. You can pick up a couple bags at a time or more, and if you have careful storage, you can really make that coffee last. Um, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Take care.